Okay. Um, so now, uh, if you see here, so this is if you uh, see here, even in the prototyping model, it is a part of the incremental prototyping also will be part over here. Okay, so by seeing this diagram itself, you should be able to understand. So in these are our phases in this particular phases. So this is how the prototype model will be arranged. So the requirements designing, uh, it will create a prototype and then it will go for the user evaluation and redefining the prototypes. So this is how this will work for us. Any questions on this one, please? Uh, next one, uh, I'll go to the incremental model. So now what do you, the, what is a, a basic uh, differences in the incremental model? So if you see here, uh, it was into multiple standalone modules. Now incremental develop done in the analysis and define and verification. So you means actually Nazim, when you're talking about it, so you compared it to uh, the agile. So that, there is a lot of difference between here and there. I just try to give that particular uh, differentiations here. Now, if you see here, uh, it was giving you a perfect definition here itself, where the requirements are broken down into multiple standalone modules of the software development cycle. Now, what they have done is uh, they have divided module one, for an example, take the Gmail, login page, inbox, outbox, trash, sent mails. So now what they will do is they will divide that particular modules over here. Okay, and one, one team means here what they will do is so uh, login page. So this is what the requirement analysis. Means this is what the analysis we need to do it, and they will parallelly try to do. And then means if you see here, this is a mixture of two things. One is the prototype, and then one is a rad model. So they will mix these particular two things and then present it as a incremental model over here. So that's the reason we should know all other models also. Why should we know about it? So now if you see here. So uh, uh, what it was happening is uh, each iteration passes through this all and the subsequent releases add the function to this one. So I told you right in the prototype model. So now what it will do, uh, yesterday I drawn a particular diagram for this one. So now first, I, I basically I need uh, this particular uh, diagram. So now uh, this is module one and module two and module three. So something else. So another module is like this. And uh, uh, another module is like this. Okay, so now, so what they will try to do for means someone will take this module, someone will take this module, someone will take this model. And now here, what they will try to do is in the first uh, release, they will try to do only this. And the second release, they will try to do this. And third release, they will do this. So incrementally, they will develop this particular uh, module, the same way for the uh, module two and module three also. So this is how the development will happen over here. And at, uh, 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 this particular approach is called an incremental approach. Now here we do have, we will see, let's see what are the basic uh, uh, advantages and uh, disadvantages of uh, this one. And here, if you see here, the, the basic things are requirements are clearly understood when to do means when we need to go for this approach is the most important thing. So when we understand the requirements clearly, and then there is an early release of this product crisis, and uh, when we have uh, the high risk features and goals are involved. So this, you can just quickly refer on this one. And uh, uh, so the advantages are it is flexible and less expensive. So uh, as it was incremental, so uh, the scope of that one, we clearly understand. Because see, if you understand the scope, the cost is less. If you don't understand the scope, because we don't know what to do and how if you have doing the repetitions of work there are a lot of uh, uh, waste stages there when there is a waste the resources waste always it is directly proportional to the cost but here we will be giving a small small pieces and then uh, uh, on that particular pieces we will go ahead and then do that one so if you see here, the software will be generated quickly during the life cycle. It is flexible and less expensive. Throughout the development, changes can be done. The, this model is less co costly compared to others. A customer can respond to each build. Errors are easily to be identified. See, these are self-explanatory. I don't need to get into each line of statement. I need to explain about it. And in disadvantages, it's a good planning required. Obviously, when you are trying to do it in this, these three phases, you should know what to do. So first, uh, you need to do this one, and then we need to do this. So that proper planning should be there, or else even this will be also collapsed. And each iteration is uh, reached and doesn't overlap with others. 
uh, probably yeah, because we have been taken this uh, 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 for this iteration, I wanted to deliver on this one. So it, it will definitely not uh, have that integration testing, right? So these are independent modules. So I'm doing this and doing this another module. So dependency of these two things are different. And when I was merging this one, definitely I'll be having the integration issues. So those are the things. So which we means the basic highlights of an incremental model. So which we need to understand. If you see here, this is a one module another module third module so oh, sorry no this is only one module only so this one module has been uh, have the first increment and second increment and third increment so this is how so this would be developed so this is related to the incremental model and the most important thing is uh, uh, the rad model so did, did i open the rad this is uh, v uh, oh it's already uh, time is over huh? Okay, so guys, once again, I'm saying that I will not spend much more time for uh, on this one. So please go back and then just read uh, means because especially the guru material have for all the models. And even if you see here, the rad is also very simple. So rad prototype one and rad model uh, uh, two and three, we will have a separate separate teams for this one. And then this team will concentrate on uh, inbox. This team will concentrate on outbox and this team will concentrate on uh, uh, the trash and they will work back. <laughs> and uh, uh, they will try to merge all those things into uh, at last one shot the basic biggest disadvantages of this rad model is uh, it required really uh, high technical skill set people and another thing is uh, it is a big bang approach always we do have a lot of disadvantages when we are trying to uh, uh, trying to uh, merge all the things at one shot so that is a basic uh, problem with the uh, rad models however uh, I'll not uh, 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 get into this. Uh, this is very understandable. So waterfall model, that's the reason I didn't ask you people. Uh, that's a sequential. And because of that sequential, it's a time consuming and rigid to change the uh, requirements at the last. Once again, it will take one year of development and all those things. So just have a quick glance uh, on this one. So Pina, do one thing. So just share all these uh, uh, links means for each model, take that link uh, from only group. It is easy and explanatory take that particular links and share it to the all the people now what you need to do is so uh, just anyways i'll have the assessments on this uh, sunday or sorry saturday on that assessments i'll ask you uh, more in this particular stlc model so now what i wanted to see you uh, guys is uh, tomorrow uh, as soon as we join back we'll directly jump into the stlc and then types of testing we have done right now tomorrow i will add one more topic levels of testing so software testing life cycle and then uh, testing methodologies and uh, tomorrow one more thing which is uh, uh, levels of testing so i'm trying to add this one this is most most important guys in levels of testing uh, in which level what i need to test and who need to test this information i should require and i'm expecting you people to prepare some documentation around this because now whatever the documentation, yeah, uh, rather than Pina, you doing this one, uh, collecting all these URLs and doing it, I'll give you an uh, assessment for all you people. You prepare as a collaboratively the list of this particular URLs for different life cycles, and then where you have been gone through for the STLC and testing methodology and levels of testing. So these are the five topics which you need to do it. So you can hmm, club two all together and then let me know. And if you required any demonstration or any session on this one, uh, if you tell me tomorrow morning, I can arrange a session at eight to nine o'clock for one hour, not by me. So uh, one of our uh, people will be giving the training so that when you are coming back to the session, so you, it will be easy for you. For this, you coordinate Pina so he can arrange you the respective trainer. If I mean, first your job is go back and read through the videos and go through this one and later on if you have the doubt you can get back to me on this okay are we clear what to do tomorrow any doubts on this aspects guys this would be completely theoretical yes you need to do that when it comes to practicals because you will have only this week of time to do this uh, theoretical things uh, these things but from next week definitely every day you need to do the practical because once we jump into java we don't have enough time for even for a breathing space. So this all things are theoretical. Yes, 
means you need to take it in a positive and then uh, interesting way because uh, it will take time and you, you see it right how easy to learn this is it means uh, i just covered in 15 20 minutes is it really hard if you have been spent another one hour of time to learn all these things that would be easy right so that is how you need to look at, at this so this is how you should read this see guys i'm always saying you i'm not trying to train you people i was just trying to make you people as a self enabled that is what my only intention okay go back gather all these uh, links of the stlcs goes through this and then an assessment i'll uh, uh, give you a different different assessment and ask a different uh, cycle so where you need to draw a diagram when to use it and what are the advantages disadvantages that's how the question paper will be giving it i'm giving you what the questions also means uh, exact question i'll not tell you now but how the pattern also i'm explaining you so this is one question definitely you'll get it from the stlc and uh, from the STLC also, anyways, we'll discuss that one tomorrow and then uh, uh, methodologies. So those are the two important things. Uh, at least we'll cover it for tomorrow. And then the levels of testing, we will see how much part we will cover it for. tomorrow. So guys, I'm once again saying that note it down in levels of testing, what level, what I need to test and who will be testing that. So that's the information which we should know about it. So where here we'll be getting the testing permit. I think uh, we do have a session on this in the repository. Please go through that repo uh, session and come back tomorrow. Okay, so uh, any questions around this one, guys, for me? Anjum, Ashwini, Gayatri, uh, Naseem, no, no. Ravi, Ruma. I'm good, uh, Chris. Cool. Then all the best, guys. Take care. So let's catch back tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. And then uh, please coordinate with me now if you require any particular help or anything. Okay. See you. Bye, all. Take care. Okay. So... Um, Fish, Welcome I'm, back. I'm, fish, I'm dropping the yeah, yeah, Pina. There is no need to join for you, Pina. So every day, uh, these guys will join. If anything there, I'll I'll ask you. Sure. Okay. Thanks, Pina. Thank you so much. See you. Bye. Okay, fine. Welcome back, all. So Ashwini, you are still saying. Yes. Okay, fine. I'll be repeating the same thing over here also. If you wanted to feel okay, sir. leave, you can leave. Feel free to leave. Fine. Um, thanks. Uh, 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 so very good morning, all. So welcome back to our session. Um, so yeah, so today we will be starting back with uh, two things. So one is, uh, uh, okay, who wanted to give the uh, shout out? Means what happened yesterday? Who wanted to give a recall on the yesterday's uh, thing? Someone is missing in the team? Alekia and who else? Only one, I guess. Alekia. Uh, Alekia, Aisha. 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 Okay, fine. Let's get started. I don't want to waste the time already. It's 11 6. Guys, I have a hard stop at uh, 11 30, uh, but I'll spend one or two minutes more and then I'll stop here. Okay. Gets, let's get started. So what is a uh, means what is a, a task or the things which we plan for today? Yeah, today we plan for uh, the methods, uh, waterfall, prototype, and agile and everything and uh, uh, methods you said the white box, black box and gray box. Sure. And STLC uh, and STLC. Cool. So guys, terminals are more important. SDLC that means we, we wanted to see the SD different SDLC models and then software testing methodologies. Methodologies are different and SDLC models are different and then STLC phases. So these are the three topics which we wanted to discuss about it. So in the, uh, uh, I'll keep the uh, methodologies in the last. So the testing life cycle uh, to the second last. And the first thing is we wanted to talk about our SDLC models. 
So in yesterday we have discussed about our different SDLC uh, 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 mo SDLC model different phases. Now today we will try to discuss about different uh, uh, SDLC models. Means uh, uh, this is what the homework which we have been given. So before starting this one, I just wanted to check one quick thing. Have you guys yesterday catch up on this? And then uh, uh, did we have? Uh, uh i guess one second um i'm sorry yep uh so to, uh, we will be discussing about that different different uh, models sdlc models and then uh, we will see what are the advantages of this one when to do this one and what are the pros and cons of this one or I mean the same thing advantages and disadvantages uh i asked you one question also sorry so have you collaborated yesterday on this particular aspects Yes, yes no? sir. We have done today morning. Cool, Sissy. Done. Fine. And uh, uh, you, you all, I'm, I was eager to hear from Monica, Kishan, Sandhya. So you people, Uday, you also, you need to talk more. Okay. Now, I'll, let's start with you people. Can you tell me, uh, here, I'll give first option. You can volunteer on, on topic. So first volunteering on you people, then it goes for uh, 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 Sissy and then uh, Venkat and then... Uh, uh, for Shiva Shankari. Uh, so, uh, if you guys are not telling, then it will go further. I will be asking different, different models. You need to start talking about that model. Okay. If you're not volunteering, I'll pick up the people, uh, person's name. Okay. Can you tell me what you meant by incremental model? Okay. So, Kishan, you wanted to start with it? Kishan, you there? Kishan, 